Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Legacy Deluxe Dead End figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging, we'll then have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We will then of course do some comparisons with this one and his original generation one self. We will then have a go at combining him to form Menasaur and see how he looks there. We can also have a look at how he's improved in the last version of him in the Generations toy line. So as you can see, quite a lot to go through today. And as I put these back, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. A couple more things. We have to first and foremost thank Robot Recruits. That's the online company which I purchased this from. And as you can see, they got him to me nice and safely. And the other thing is just appreciate, again, the beautiful box art. So we've got the robot in there. We've got the alternate mode on the front. And then we've got the bust and indeed the full robot again on the side. Again, fantastic. It really is good that they're making so much effort for these boxes now. There, of course, is the Legacy Wave 1 artwork that we're more than familiar with now. And we can see that it's going to take 15 steps to transform him. Not sure if the QR code is working. No one's told me it isn't. So for now, I'm just going to pop it there again and you can have a go for yourself. Right, let's crack this guy open and have a look at him. So, of course, this guy is, yeah, of course, he's anticipated because we've got the other three members of the Stunticons to go with him. So this is going to be one of the arms, I do believe. Um, and again, we haven't got any any sign of any legacy evolution at all um, officially in the country, in the UK at the moment. I know we can get some on import, so it's going to be a good few weeks, I say, before I get breakdown. But there he is. You can see he's, yeah, he's pretty big, to be fair. We've got the instructions inside there and it looks like we've got his weapons there. So what I'm going to do is set him free and then come right back to you. So here he is set free from the packaging then. And first impressions of him, especially in this bot mode, he looks really, really good. We've got a beautiful bit of detail there across the chest with the Decepticon logo on. The head sculpt is great with the purple visor and the orange mouthpiece. It does turn all the way around. And we've got a slight bit of movement up and down, not too much to be honest, but just a little bit. With regards to the shoulders, it's not ball and socket, I don't think, but it's as good as it will go all the way around. It will go out to the side. You've got the swivel underneath the shoulder. You've got the bicep flexion. You don't have a wrist swivel. We do have a waist swivel. The legs, again, a bit like the shoulders. Full side, back, front, full range of motion articulation. Swivel at the bottom of the hip. Knee bend and, indeed, ankle tilt and rock. So, again, as you'd expect, just great, great articulation. Lovely, as I say, the colour scheme worked brilliantly. It's a fantastic fantastic homage to the original one especially with this just little bit of a detail there this yellow stripe which you'll see in more detail on the alternate mode but yeah he looks really good i'm presuming that this is the button here that we'll press to set him to split him in two um, a bit later on uh, but regards to first impressions i think he looks great what we're going to do now though we're going to have a look at him in his alternate mode and do some comparisons with his original self so here is his alternate mode then. and again it does look really nice quick apologies for no transformation process on this video a couple of reasons one to keep the main length of the video down and two is not to spoil it for people who don't want it spoiling for themselves however it will be separately uploaded so you can watch it if you want to now i just noticed that that wheel's getting caught it was rolling around no problem before but the biggest problem that i've got is that this sometimes keeps popping apart you've really got to force it together and then sometimes it'll hold but then again as you can see maybe it's because it's brand new maybe it just needs a bit more play wear to it i'm not too sure but it does i can't deny you know you can see it here you can see it happening it's not as bad as i've seen other people's unfortunately be but it does of course take something away from it because the alternate mode is brilliant it looks just it does it's a brilliant homage to this particular there there you go there's the original you can see and you can see again that it is starting to pull um away as well which which isn't the greatest to be fair especially on the new figure uh even got the headlights on the front which is brilliant i think it's a porsche 938 to be honest something like that um and as you can see it is it's just a great great homage to that now you've got a double barrel cannon with the original and this is what i love about these figures the fact that you can pretty much mimic mock or copy it in honesty you can put the two at the back like so and it's it's a little sleek it's a little sleeker version of this um you could even put them on the side i think looking at this let's have a look because they've got three oh three five millimeter ports so you can go yeah you can 
you can go this way as well i'm not too sure which is the best in honesty and i've seen that but again because you've got all these five millimeter ports you could start attaching more things to it if you wanted to it, apart from that it's it looks great it serves its purpose and as i said i think we're going to pretty much be splitting it in half there to see how he attaches to menasaur but alternate mode as it goes a little disappointing that this back part is playing up a little i imagine that it'll get better the more i play with it but um i'm not going to be playing with it it's going to be stuck on menasaur in a second but otherwise um yeah it's 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 a nice of course homage and indeed better upgrade than the especially than the combiner was one that we saw unfortunately i haven't got one loose in storage but i've got this one here and if we have a look at the back um, it was only 11 steps to transform these whereas this guy's 15 so he's a little bit more intricate and he does look a little bit more exactly like he's supposed to in his g1 days whereas this was just it didn't really look like his g1 figure at all right what we're going to do now then we're going to come back with him in his robot mode and see how he displays and poses with his weapons right then back with him in his robot mode in all honesty if i wasn't combining him this is the mode that of course i would be displaying him in but i've got him back in this mode now so we can see how we can attach the weapons to his hands which again is really obvious and straightforward but also the fact that you can really pose this guy as i say with this waist swivel with the ankle tilt and rock you've got a lot lot of posability on him way way more than this guy but he's still a brilliant brilliant homage to him he looks so so much better but at the same time you can you can clearly tell that it's just an updated version of him again quick apologies that this guy isn't loose but um you can see the differences between this and that i mean this was a good figure for its time quite basic especially compared to some of today's figures but it just didn't really look like dead end whereas this guy definitely definitely does so let's just move this out of the way and uh, let's have a quick look at him with some other figures from the same uh toy line shall we say we've got crankcase there so he's quite a small actually yeah he's quite a small deluxe figure um what else have we got hanging around so we've got oh, i've got scolder in here so yeah wave three was a load of decepticons wasn't it but this guy's probably even wow he's smaller than skullgrin um quite surprised you could tell by that i've still got a crosshairs hanging around which is again is an autobot and as you can see he is quite a bit bigger than him but again he looks great it's brilliant to have a real decent update of him because he definitely genuinely genuinely does look exactly like his g1 self right we've got menasaur here he's probably not even fitting in the camera no he's not so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reposition the camera bring in the combiner wars menasaur as well and then we can have a look at how he fits and connects to him okay then back for the final time and we are going to be combining him to form part of menasaur so as you can see i've got the original g1 ready and indeed the original g1 self also at the end of the video there's quite a funny blooper which i've saved and that we put at the very end what we need to do though is we need to separate this car completely in half a little bit like that but he will actually come fully apart so this tab i've been referring to um maybe use a i don't know maybe maybe not a pen just in case you damage or mark it but this one doesn't work so that's why I've used that. You can see straight away that that has indeed separated this. Now, what I'm going to do due to the blooper, I'm going to take the arm actually off Menasaur because it'll be much, much easier. Um, and what we're going to do, you can see we've got all these tabs and cutouts here. Now, this actually will, and as you can see, hold this together a little bit better. So if we line the two tabs up there like so, and then the same with this, you've got the cutouts and the tabs, we can indeed connect these there oh there we go it's much easier to do it that way rather than as you'll see by the blooper connect the arm straight on now he's starting to really take shape isn't he of course we've got wild rider at the back there as well um <clears throat> and then just again for a quick comparison i'll bring in another g1 combiner um, and then i'll bring in the combiner wars one so he's huge compared to the original g1 combiners um and indeed as you'll see now as I say, I've got the main one still in storage, but I've got this guy available to hand. You can see just how much better he looks compared to the G2 version of him right there. Anyway, great figure. <clears throat> Absolute total shame about the back, but as you can see, I think mine's getting a bit better the more times I've actually had a bit of a play with it. So, um, And it's holding together 
yeah, pretty well on the back, to be honest. You can't even really see. I need to clip that back in. But that's the only negative thing. If you're going to be displaying him on Menasaur like so, it's not too noticeable. Of course, it's not noticeable at all in um, robot mode. It's just a little bit annoying. And hopefully it'll get a bit better the more I ever go with it. But in the meantime, this has been Legacy Dead End. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. Let me know if yours got the same problem as well. Funnily enough, it'd be interesting to find out. Everybody, please take care. Okay then, and then to transform him ready to be combined with Menasaur, what you've got here is you've got this little catch here. Now, I'd probably find something better than a pen if I was you, to be honest, but you need to push this in. Once you've pushed this in, you can see that's separated there, and that does indeed separate these straight off. You've then got two tabs there, or two holes, and two connectors there. And then on the side of Menasaur, you can see that these will line up exactly like that. And then we've got the two holes at the bottom, to go with the two holes there in what of course were the bottom of his feet now this might actually hold it together a bit better which if it does is a bonus and there you go that is oops, that's me knocking his arm off <laughs>